The Baptism of Dolores Nava, 10th of May 2004. We are here, bombing <laughs> all the way from London. We're here to celebrate the baptism of Dolores Nava. We're here to celebrate the fact that we believe in the Lord Jesus and we want to follow him. We're also here to celebrate the fact that Dolores and I are to be legally married. We have promised each other to each other last year that we're to be legally married here in the Philippines, so we're very pleased. Now, first of all, let's deal with baptism. It doesn't matter about the talk, okay? We'll just carry on going, okay? And I would like you all to listen, please. Don't talk, please. Don't talk. Okay. Now, when we, when we talk about baptism, we talk about dipping someone in water and lifting them up out of the water. It represents somebody that has become a believer in the Lord Jesus, dying with the Lord Jesus. When Jesus died, he was buried. So when a person believes in Jesus, he also associates with Jesus and dies to Jesus. Now, Dolores and I, Dolores is from the Philippines, from England, and is from England. We're from different cults. But in Jesus Christ, in the Lord Jesus, there's neither Jew nor Gentile, there's neither Philippine nor English, we are one in Jesus Christ. So we're in this baptism, we're putting aside our old culture, in that sense, but we're united in Jesus Christ. So I introduced Alan to the Lord Jesus Christ. I told him that Jesus came to help sinners, to help people that can't help themselves, and Alan came to an end of himself. And I've had Alan with me for over a month now. I've been talking to him about what the Lord Jesus did, the parables, how Jesus came to save desperate men from sin, death, and hell. And you know our ministry. I came from the Philippines to the Philippines last year to work in New Bolivar Prison. It is the most notorious jail probably in the world. There are hardened gangsters and criminals. And some of those men are hearing about Jesus Christ, what he came to do, and they are being converted. We have 22 men on death row that have committed their lives to Christ. And this is what we're here for. We're not here about religion. We're on about a relationship with God. And it's through Jesus Christ. What did Jesus Christ do when he came? He came, and as you know, he was born of the Virgin Mary. She was truly a virgin. She'd never known a man. She was married, to, due to be married to Joseph. Okay. Now, children, please quiet there. Now, we know a very bad criminal in my youth. I dealt with drugs, I was involved in permissive sex, I was involved in criminal activities, and I didn't care about anybody but myself. One day, the Lord Jesus arrested me and spoke to me, and I turned around and turned my back on crime and sin and evil and corruption and drunkenness to follow Jesus Christ, as Alan has testified today. Now, I'm here as a minister, I serve Christ, I want to share with you what the Lord Jesus Christ can do for anyone. Now, I don't care whether you're baptised a Catholic, an Anglican, a Methodist, a Mormon, a Jew, whatever you are, it doesn't matter. What's important is that you know the Lord Jesus Christ. If you believe him and trust him, you are certain of eternal life. You are certain that all your sins shall be forgiven you. Why the Lord Jesus Christ? But God the Father is very pleased. When Jesus was baptised by John the Baptist, a dove, as it were, came down from heaven and sat upon Jesus. And Jack, John the Baptist knew that this was uh, the Son of God. So I'm going to baptise Dolores in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost upon confession of her faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This also is a celebration also because baptism and union to Christ is also like a man and wife. When we're married, we want to be a good Christian family. Dolores, I would love to be a very good Christian woman to bring up our children. I will want to be a good Christian man. I want to be like Jesus to my wife. We want to teach our children the ways of the Lord Jesus to encourage them to follow the right way. We don't want our children to end up in New Bedford Prison, do we? No. no. So Beautiful. This is the weather in the Philippines. Okay, children, I want you to witness this. Okay, we thank God for his grace and blessings. Okay, Dolores? Delicious, delicious. Okay. 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 Is the water warm? Yeah. It's cold, okay. Dolores, by the authority given me by the Lord Jesus, I ask you, do you confess your faith in the Lord Jesus? 
Do you trust him? I do. Will you follow him? Amen. Will you bring up your children in the name of the Lord Jesus and trust them, uh, to trust the Lord? Yes. Okay, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Don't tell me yet. Uh, okay. Praise God, from whom all blessings flow. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Okay, dear. There we are, all the way from the Philippines. Only in the Philippines. Only Praise the God, Philippines. we will baptize all these children in future to follow Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.